Okay, welcome back. Uh, well, the market's down about 46 odd points, and uh, we're right there, about half a percent lower on the Nifty. The Nifty Bank is down about one percent. Uh, we, we're going to cut across uh, to our colleague Reema Tendulkar. She's in conversation with Nitin Rakesh, CEO and Executive Director of Emphasis. Reema, it's over to you. Hi, Prashant. Thank you very much for that. Yes, he's uh, joined as a CEO in ED in January of 2017, and the start to his CEO innings has been quite good. Um, thank you, Nitin, for sparing the time. Let me break up uh, the emphasis business for the sake of our viewers into HP, uh, into digital risk, which is your mortgage business, about 11% of your overall revenue. And the third is the non-HP, the non-digital risk pie, which you call direct international. So let's just get your views in on how you plan to tackle all these three areas. Sure. First in HP, it's about, what, 25, 26 percent mm -hmm. of your revenues. Your master service agreement with HP says it's a $990 million minimum over five years. What's your sense? Do you think you will be, there is an upside to this? Yeah, I think uh, if you look at the trajectory of the HP revenues through FI17, uh, even before we actually signed the MRC with HP in September, uh, we had started to stabilize it. So FI17 was a year of stability. Uh, you know, in the 53, 54 million dollar range, Q4 was uh, you know in that in that ballpark as well. In Q1, I think we've seen a pretty strong 10 odd percent sequential growth, and we are now closer to 60 million revenue rounded for the quarter. And mm. uh, that in itself implies that we are actually uh, even on a rounded basis starting to show growth for the FI18. Uh, obviously, we have three more quarters to deliver. The way we look at MRC or the minimum revenue commitment, I think it's a backstop. It's the baseline. Um, obviously, the intention for us is to find growth over and above it. So right now, we are tracking above it. Uh, our expectation and, and the messaging to the team is to continue to find growth. HP no longer is just one entity that we deal with. There are four distinct entities within the HP group that we're dealing with, which basically means that we got four engines of growth within HP. That gives me the confidence that this should really be a, a growth year for HP. Growth year for HP, but if you continue doing $60 million as a quarterly run rate, you're still likely to have about a 20% upside to the $990 uh, you know, million dollar figure, which right. was put out. Is that a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, current, that's what we stand at today, right? Now, this is only three quarters into the MRC. Yeah. Uh, we have another four years and a quarter to go. So the, given the, the fact that we were able to change the relationship dynamic for, and, and get in front of those deals with the partnership we announced back in May, I think our pipeline is strong. Um, level of confidence that we should be a credible partner to HP across the value chain is very strong. And, and I do believe that uh, I think the, there exists upside uh, you know, much beyond the 990. Okay, upside much beyond the 990, and this is going to be a growth here. What about for digital risk? Um, that's clearly been a lag for emphasis. I think from its peak revenues, it's down, what, nearly 30-35%. Um, do you see the business environment for digital risk to revive? Because it is in the mortgage business, and at a time when interest rates are rising globally, mm -hmm. uh, refinancing is not really an option. So the external environment doesn't seem very conducive for digital risk. How do you plan to tackle yeah, it? I think you hit it on the head. Uh, there's obviously a macro headwind to that business. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we can either sit back and wait for the headwind to abate. Uh, and obviously, that's not the option right now. So that business is clearly diluting our growth and our margin mm -hmm. profile. Uh, what we've done is, uh, you know, we've incorporated some, some new uh, plans that we are now executing. The first focus of the plans is to continue to expand wallet share and market share in that business because the biggest competitors we have is the bank's internal you know, uh, processing units. So I think that, that basically means that we are focusing a lot more on new deal wins. We announced a deal win last quarter. There is a deal win this quarter baked into our direct, direct international numbers that came from DR as well. And the second uh, vector of that is can we transform the way we deliver that business, uh, either by using a platform or, ex or expanding on our offshore adoption. Thirdly, I think uh, we are also starting to explore possibilities to synergize with the direct core business okay. because the customer base is still still uh, of high value to us, which is the banking. But no segment. plans to sell it? Uh, you know, it is, uh, I mean, that's a very uh, difficult proposition because you really want to be able to make sure that every business that you have contributes to growth. And if, if, if at any point in time in the future, uh, that becomes a viable opportunity, we'll consider it. But right now we're very focused on making sure that we are able to turn that business, make it stable, Make, make sure that we get some more market share, even if it means that, you know, uh, that, that we, we need to do more work to, to build the pipeline, and then make sure that our delivery is stable so our margins expand. So I think but that's kind of the primary focus. market share in a shrinking pie. So on the whole, do you see, for digital risk in particular, F5, 18 to be a negative year? When uh, could things stabilize? I think, 
We said 28 to 30 million dollar revenue range is kind of the range we expect that business to be. If it stays in that range, it's probably be a flat year for DR. Okay. Right. And uh, there is yes, the core mortgage refinance market is a shrinking pie, but there are so many other uh, other activities in the mortgage value chain. Mm. Uh, you know, from due diligence to uh, day zero to actually uh, you know building a platform that helps banks outsource more. So I think the market share uh, can be expanded in all of these vectors. Okay. What about the direct core international X of digital risk? Mm -hmm. That's still more than 50% of your overall revenue, yes. where you have guided to grow more than the industry growth mm -hmm. rates. Um, it's, you know, everyone's talking digital. How are you going to do things differently? And um, can this be a double digit kind of a growth rate? Because just above industry, that could mean sure. even 8 to 9%. I think we, if you look at the track record last three years running, this business has actually grown healthy double digits uh, mm -hmm. on a Kager basis. Uh, and also has had uh, uh, a very strong percentage of the business pivot towards what we call new gen services. If you look at the deal wins we announced in Direct International, which by the way includes digital risk, yeah. uh, 183 million dollars, 87 percent of those deals are next gen services or new gen services as we call them. So I think the momentum of winning deals with our existing clients, the addition of the Blackstone portfolio opportunity to the direct core, and also the fact that we were able to add 12 new customers this quarter means that our sales engine is starting to fire a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we feel good about our position. Obviously, we need to do a lot more work to continue to expand our wallet share, add new clients, and especially focus on areas like Europe that we have you know, historically been underpenetrated in. Okay, well, we're going to get you more excerpts of uh, that conversation through the day. So that's the emphasis management talking to CNBC TV 18, telling us that they have a strong pipeline value chain and they do expect growth to come through from HP in FI 18. That's stock up around 1.4% at this point in time. But back to the markets. In fact, let's go across to what's happening in the commodity space, rather equities. Uh, Manisha is here with, to tell us what's happening there. Well, Manisha, it seems like all attention is on the rupee. <laughs>